Right, well this is my French 1940 uh, army for chain of command. Um, it, the main infantry side it is done. Uh, I've just got a few more support options, so I'll just run around what I've got at the moment. So, uh, they're all warlord figures, these. Uh, in charge, we have the uh, lieutenant, who's a senior leader with a pistol. And uh, I mount, use my bases to donate leaders. So he's on a square base. Square base means senior leader. Uh, next to him, we have a, a sergeant junior leader with a rifle. Now, I've just realised he's actually got a pistol, so that needs to be switched out afterwards. I do have a, a figure suitable for that. I just need to switch him over. And uh, he's on a base that's got a, a square front and a round back. That means a junior leader in my system. Helping them out, we have the um, VB Corporal, or Caporal, who's also a junior leader with a uh, pistol. And next to him, we have a VB Launcher with one crew. Uh, that's kind of a headquarters system. Um, then we go on to the three um, sections. So the first section we've got over here. Again, led by the junior leader, you can tell because he's on that strange base. Oh, the hexagonal base, that means a um, a different type of weapon. So in this case, it's the VB launcher. So this section here, and um, it's composed of the actual section itself. It's got the light machine gun, which is a crew of three. Um, I've, I've based one chap on a semicircular base so that hopefully that won't get confused with the uh, with the junior leader base. That's to show that it's actually got a crew of three. So they can't be separated out those. I can't have the, uh, the, the third man firing his rifle. We have the VB launcher, which is basically a grenade launcher. And the rest of the, the section is made up of the riflemen. Uh, the basis on the on this first section is just plain grass. Then I've got the second section, exactly the same layout. Uh, we've got the uh, the junior leader, light machine gun, VB launcher, and the um, seven riflemen making up the rest of the team. And um, they've actually got whitish, well they're actually yellow flowers, uh, but they look like the white ones. Uh, just scattered around vaguely on them, on the bases. It's not all of them. They're not absolutely. It's not. The, the idea is it's a muddy field and there's bits of grass left sticking up. And finally, we have the third section exactly the same. The only difference is that these have got reddish flowers sticking up. Then we have a few supports. I've not finished with the supports as yet, but we've got the anti-tank rifle. Uh, the flowers for these guys are all kind of mixed up, different random ones. Notice that that barrel's got bent a bit, that needs to be straightened out. And we have the 60mm um, mortar with a junior leader, so that's four crew and a junior leader. I did consider putting the crew on a semicircular base as well, but I decided in the end that it didn't really need it. Sniper in a nice blue field with his observer to help him out. Um, forward observation team. These guys are calling in, I think it's an 80 millimeter uh, mortar off table. And finally, and this isn't finished yet, we have the uh, machine gun and the base, as I say, it isn't finished yet. That's the wrong type of base. It's actually got a crew of um, five. So that's three figures on the actual base and two spare ones. No junior leader with those. So that's my French force. Um, hopefully, when Richard brings out the, uh, the new French lists, it won't be invalidated. Uh, but that's the basic idea from the chain of command list that's uh, been published on the the largest site.